So hello to all the viewers. With me, I have Dr. Mithun, who has secured rank 42 in the NEET SS DM Neurology entrance exam. Well, Mithun, such a top rank in a very competitive exam. How were the months of preparation? Sir, it was a um, very difficult experience, actually. Um, there's a lot of hard work in it um, and a lot of consistency also. I'm just finally happy that it just all paid off. Okay. So I prepared for both the INA exam as well as the NEET exam. Okay, okay. So your batch especially had lots of uh, U-turns with respect to exam pattern. And I can totally relate that the journey was very difficult with uh, initially an exam pattern being announced, subsequently the pattern changing, again a reverse pattern change, all right. So Mithun, uh, when did you join Doc Tutorials? So August of last year, sir. Okay, so August 2021. 2021 August. Okay. So uh, you joined for the video lectures of medicine, neurology, plus the exam series, correct? Including the question bank. Yes, sir. Just tell the viewers, uh, how was your preparation strategy? How did you utilize the video lectures, question bank, test series? So how was your preparation leading on to the exam? Because you have got a very good rank, not just for the NEET SS exam, even for the INISS. I think your common merit list rank is 30, 30, and the AIMS merit list rank was 13, 13, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. So you have you've done well in both the exams. So, uh, so just tell us regarding yes, how sir. you prepared. Sir, uh, initially, my main source was from Harrison, sir, both for medicine as well as for neurology. Uh, I made notes for uh, from Harrison. And then uh, it was basically, then after that, I went to the doctor tutorials videos. Uh, basically, the videos will tell a much more in depth of both the medicine as well as neurology, what all important topics are there and where to read from. So that is very important. So I used to make notes from those doctor tutorials videos also. I watched all the neurology videos from doctor tutorials. And then I read selected portions from Bradley, which was stressed from those doctor tutorials videos. Uh, very selected topics like from stroke, from epilepsy, demyelinating disorders, dementia. So uh, that was predominantly how I read. And then I used to solve MCQs also, topic-wise MCQs. So to make, and the MCQs in doc tutorials had predominantly was Bradley based. So I knew where all my weak spots were. So I used to read that also uh, based on that. So, and this allied test series used to be, uh, was extremely good because it was weekly exams. So um, it used to help me, which I used to follow religiously. So it used to help me to complete the portions also. So it used to give me this particular target, small, small target, with which I used to finish the whole portion. And uh, I was uh, quite happy with that. And there was also grand test after finish completing all these uh, test series also. So uh, that would tell us exactly where you are in the whole, uh, the whole herd. So the, it will help you to push forward to become better at what you do. So overall, basically, it was a very good experience. Okay. So basically, you did the video lectures. Then the LX exam series actually gave you a structured timetable. In fact, yes, I think uh, when the exam got delayed and uh, many students actually told us, sir, you know, we need a direction to move forward. So that is when, you know, we thought rather than just, you know, being an app with some video lectures alone, if you can give an exam series with a definite timetable, like you said, giving short targets, which will help, you know, finish these portions. Okay. So that you are thorough with not just the video lectures, you have practiced the MCQs also. So how did you find the level of competition in the elite exams that you wrote? Like, uh, because most of the candidates who actually take the exam seriously, in fact, many of them, you know, have taken the elite exams also. So how was the competition level in the elite exam series? So it was very good, sir. So those people who have scored in the top 10 ranks were the top ranks even in the INA exams. So it was very similar. So that is what is important. It gives you the same uh, level of preparation that is required. Now, uh, for you know your exam aspirants, that is the your junior batch, uh, what advice you want to give 
because you have taken the current exam though the upcoming exam is going to be mainly a medicine based exam but still you know in this exam the clinical scenarios were more in number which is probably a definite indication for the future yes. exams as well so what advice you want to give them regarding the pattern of questions if some, if a junior asks you sir is it just factual questions or clinical questions or or should i read all specialty books what will be your advice sir uh, my current exam the neat exam it was 100 total 100 questions out of which 60 questions were from the uh, neurology and 40 questions were from general medicine from medicine as well as pediatrics neurology part also there was a part of it from from pediatric neurology okay. i would say first to have a good base of medicine of harrison first because that 40 percent is very important and that 40 percent is generally will be from majority will be from harrison only so the basic part of harrison so that'll be first and then uh, the specialty part you can focus from from harrison the neurology part of harrison but that is should be the base always and then like uh, definitely go through video sessions because that will help that will tell you what to read from bradley because bradley is extremely vast you can't go through everything so it's very important to have a very selected reading of bradley sure. and uh, that is where the coaching center definitely comes in handy okay all right so and making sure that we religiously go through these some test series to make sure that you have particular targets and finishing of the portion in a particular time okay. so you have reached a you know your desired rank and you are definitely going to get a seat in a very good college so very happy for you mithun you know uh, wish you all the best for both your professional as well as personal life yes. and uh, looking forward to meeting you in some neurology conferences as well because um, every year there are neurology conferences and yes. obviously we all will meet as colleagues from now on so looking forward to meeting you mithun okay all right thank you so much mithun for joining